In this video, we're going to look at assigning homerooms to teachers using the modify list function. And before we do it, we're going to check to see if there's any problems with the secondary school association. This is an artifact due to conversion, and we expect to see it in the first year. To check for this and to fix any problems, what you need to be is in the staff top tab of the school view. You should set your filter to primary active staff. And then from here, select your first staff member and go to schools. And what we're looking for is a reference for the current year. I'm doing this in the 2014-15. This current year would say 2015. If there's a 2015 record here under schools, there's an, there will be an issue when I try to assign a homeroom. Because this is their secondary school association. If they're assigned to a different school or this school in a previous year, the problem is due to conversion is sometimes it fills in 2015 here even though the year is 2015. Might not make complete sense right now but it's something we need to clear out. So I'm going to use the navigate VCR buttons to go to the next teacher record in the school's side tab. I'm just going to scroll through each one of my teachers looking to see that this year does not match this year. So this one's safe. If this said 2015 or in the case of you looking at this in September of 2015, it would say 2016. Check that off, options, and delete. I'm not going to do that for this case because it's not that case. And I'm just going to go through all of my staff to see that they don't have that record. Now, I know the rest of them don't, so I'm just going to skip ahead and go back to my staff list. From here, I want to turn on the options modify list feature and homeroom is a field that you can do modify list on in uh, the staff top tab. So I can check that off and now I can go through here as appropriate using tab to uh, put in homerooms for my staff. This probably won't be in order for you but uh, for me we'll just say it's in order. Now keep in mind uh, your naming convention for your homeroom. You want to think about this before you get to this point. Have it clear in your mind how you're doing it. And if you're doing numeric, we've suggested that you add a zero in front of your single digits. So you make them a two digit because then it sorts nicely later on. So zero, one, zero, two, zero, three. When you're done this work, hit the green check mark button to save your changes. If you navigate away or hit the red X, you won't save your changes. Save your changes, warns you. and we've updated my homerooms. At this point now I can go and update the homerooms for students. So that video looks at updating homerooms for teachers using the modified list as well as a common error that you will need to fix before starting the process.